Welcome back to the Delaware Way, making a difficult time in life a little bit more palatable. Susan Lloyd is president and CEO of Delaware Hospice. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for 35 years, huh? Yes, yes. The organization is celebrating 35 years of service to the community. We're very proud of that because we were the first hospice that was established in the state of Delaware. And to this day, we, do, we are the only not-for-profit provider of hospice services in the it, state. It's interesting. As I, I was just reading an article um, a moment ago, and, and somebody with your organization said, most people think of hospices as a place to go to die. That's mm -hmm. not what we're all about. What does right. that mean? Well, really what the emphasis on hospice care is about making the time that a patient has and the family has together the best that it can, recognizing that we're dealing with a serious and terminal illness. So when that statement is made, it's around the types of care and services that can be provided to the patient and the family at this very important stage of, of life. So people think about hospice as death, but really hospice is the care and services and support that envelop the family and the patient as they are going through end of life. Yeah, I've been through hospice with my mother. So many people that are watching right now have had to go to hospice. And it, it's it's a difficult, difficult time, not just for the person that's there, mm -hmm. but especially for the family. I would imagine you spend as much time with the family as you do sometimes with the person that's there. That's very, very true because we support the family in their caregiving of their loved ones, but we're not there 24 hours a day. Their caregivers are. So our role is to support and educate them to provide the care that they need to provide to their loved one. And then a lot of people don't realize this, but after the patient passes away, we continue to support the family through grief and loss services and bereavement support so that they can figure out their life after their loved one. One of the largest segments of our population are the baby boomers who are now aging yes. and, and our, overall our population is getting older because that huge bubble of the population is getting older. I would imagine because of that you need more facilities. Yes, we're seeing expansion of the need for services, uh, particularly for us right now in Sussex County as that county continues to grow pretty significantly. Um, over the last several years you just have to go around the county and recognize how much growth is happening. So being, and a lot of that growth are retirees. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, because they like it down there, and right. I understand that. <laughs> and the taxes are too high elsewhere, and they come. They like to go to Delaware. And there's that beautiful beach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And so you're expanding? Yes, we have, um, it, we have expanded down in Sussex County in the last several years with our Delaware Hospice Center in Milford. Uh, and now we are also planning for some expansion up here in Newcastle County to meet the same kinds of needs for inpatient care. And I imagine that people that come to you, it's, it's never just one thing. I mean, you have, I'm sure you have people that have Alzheimer's. I'm sure you have people that come that have dementia. But, but yet you have people that are, are sometimes aware of what's happening to them. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, you know, hospice care was traditionally known as a service for cancer patients. That's really where the roots of this type of care were. However, over time, we're taking care of patients with all kinds of diagnoses, anything from Alzheimer's and dementia to end-stage heart and lung diseases um, and kidney diseases. So we see just about everything. And I know you're saying the caregiver deals with the person that's been given this, this diagnosis, if right. it is a diagnosis. But you, you're saying you deal with the family more. You don't deal with them? Yes, very much so. The, the focus is on the patient and making sure that they're as comfortable and we're pro providing the services and, and supports for the family to care for the loved ones. So nursing, nursing visits to make sure that the patient is as comfortable as they can be, so, uh, certified nursing assistants to come in and help with personal care, uh, social, social workers that help to look at what kinds of needs there are for a person that, are, that is nearing end of life, funeral arrangements financial concerns, things like that. And then, of course, there's spiritual care through our chaplains as well. Well, congratulations on your Thank 35 you. years. Congratulations on your expansion. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about what's a difficult topic for everyone, and I'm sure just you are, for you as well. But thank, thank you, you so for much. dealing with it. Susan Lloyd is president and CEO of Delaware Hospice. That is the Delaware Way for this week. Go to metv.com to replay segments from this show or previous shows and leave your comments about what you've seen on today's show on our Facebook page or reach me on Twitter at the Delaware Way or at Larry Menti. We may read your thoughts on a future show. I'm Larry Menti. We'll see you again next week.